I cannot wait. Fun for the reveal. So now I gotta be dressed like a pink fucking Power Ranger. You can get changed if you want. <laughs> Shall we get a photo? That is. Let's get a photo. You have absolutely crushed that. Go for a walk, do a lap for me. Shit, baby got back. <laughs> that is. Wow. Dude. <laughs> So dumb. Ben Wenners, she's got a huge, huge inflatable koala costume. Like, it's fucking huge. It's ginormous. How would you wear this to a dress up party? It couldn't. How good is it, though? It's like eight year old Lou with ears. <laughs> <laughs> okay, should we get a photo? Yeah, let's get a photo. Oh, this is so tight. It's not very comfortable. Is it not? No. Okay, is that alright? Okay. <laughs> well, we've done the costume reveal. Yeah. And now it only feels right to sit in our costumes for a little bit. Yeah, for a bit. Um, I can't really look at you. That's okay. I can't really see. This to wouldn't <laughs> be very um. Wouldn't be very, very good for a dress-up party. You couldn't sit anywhere you, and you couldn't speak to anyone. At all? No. You, like? Like, you can't sit anywhere, you can't speak. How, did, you, did you inflate it with a vacuum? It's with, got a little, a, um, it's got a little engine on me. It does it? So it's got a little air thing. So Dior and I watched it go blow up, go... True. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the great things. I, I did have an inkling it'd be koala related. Yeah. Did you expect this though? Not 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 a fucking no. chance. <laughs> it's so funny like just yours. seeing your face. Thanks, I'm the pink Power Ranger. It's very cute. Well, I appreciate it. It's really tight. It is. We've gone the polar opposite. Correct. I've gone like full inflatable the size of a house and you've gone as tight little minx. Well, I just bloody Do you know I was I was eyeing one off when I was mm. buying this. I thought we may have got the same. There, there, Lou, there's zero chance of us getting the same. <laughs> um, but the fucking, I oh, bloody, there was this gimp suit. Oh. And it was like, it was the gimp mask, full black, like leather, leather, gimp, nice. With like the nipple bits missing and mm -hmm. like nipple tassels and rings and a gag and stuff. And I was like, fuck, just for the gags, that would have been hilarious. Whatever, you wanted to take it home. And I wanted to take it home. But, god damn, wigs are fucking annoying as well. You know what's annoying is this putting your arms up and then the air just slowly coming up and suffocating you. <laughs> yeah, true. So it's just my hairs in my fucking mouth. Well, that was fun. Oh my god, you with that wig. 
<laughs> I'd make for a truly ugly female. Yeah. Do I make for a cute koala? Yeah, yeah. I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. <laughs> you actually do. Oh, that was fun. Fuck, I laughed. <laughs> You just heard me waddling Dude, in, being I like, just heard you what scrape. is happening? I just heard you scrape and throw. I'm like, this sounds fucking enormous. <laughs> I open my eyes and this fucking thing's sitting next it's to me. It's a giant Kevin. <laughs> is he still up? Yeah, mate, you're fully oh, inflated. Well, could I hop into my normal clothes now? <laughs> It's not nah, very comfortable. We're doing this the whole co- podcast. It's now. not very comfortable. Nah, you got to go do hot girl laps like this now. <laughs> yeah, correct. Go on. I'll go get us coffees at Sonoma. Could you? Hey, guys. Just one extra week long bleak. And, and some gum trees for Kevin. Gum leaves. Gum leaves. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've done well, Lulu. Thank you. Fuck, that made me laugh. That was a good laugh for the morning. That was very funny. I'm so, so bad with us. If you don't know, we closed our eyes. We could not peek. We had to close our eyes and then Dior counted us in for the surprise. It wasn't very podcast friendly, but I think you'll all enjoy the video Fuck a me lot. swing and it was video friendly, though. <laughs> Okay, we'll get you in normal okay, clothes. Okay, thank you. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, that was an unconventional yet thoroughly uh, enjoyable way to fucking kick off the potty. Like, there was absolutely no reason for that at all. I would, like, it, it was so unnecessary. That was, but it was probably one of my favourite moments. Well, that was that was a Louisa Dalton brainchild. Oh, 100%. That you said, screams should we, me. Should we get costumes and just show up in costumes? And fuck me, dude. I can't. I can't quite articulate when... So Lou essentially was hiding behind a screen <laughs> as I walked in and I had to get changed and that. And then I sat on the, my seat and closed my eyes and when I just heard like... A waddle. Like just this shuffling of <laughs> Dior trying to get you to your seat. I just started pissing myself because I'm like, what waddle. the fuck has she, wear, has she got? It was the most incredible costume. It was phenomenal. So it's essentially a giant blow up, Kevin. Like huge. It'd be. It was seven foot tall. Yeah. It was, was really massive. <laughs> it was. So go check out the YouTube oh, if fuck. you want to see the full reveal, and then yeah. we'll chuck something up on the IG and um, TikTok eventually. A hundred percent. Fuck me, dad. That's funny. Um, hey, oh, guess what we've got? A present. A little present. Please, can I open it? No. Oh. Okay. Uh. We're <laughs> vulnerable today. This is from Gu- uh, Guzman and Gomez. Ooh. They've sent us something. Okay. Shotgun the socks. Shotgun the socks. Yeah, mate, you can have them. <laughs> yes. I thought there might be some um, vouchers. Oh, there. there is, baby. Oh, give me no, one No, because then. you've given me the... No, you... I want the guacamole and the mints. No. Nah. How yes. do you know there's a voucher? Because I can see a voucher right here. Where? Right here. Ooh. Well, you can have my socks. I just want the mints. Well, no, I... I don't get any voucher. Oh, shit, didn't you? Only Jachi got one. Oh, no. Oh, well, it looks like it's only me then. No, that's for both of us to share. How much is it? 50 bucks. That's $25 each. And Dior as well. That's... Twelve fifty each. No, it's not. But fourteen fifty. Oh, it's probably just somewhere around 17. 16, 17 bucks or something, isn't it? Not the right Wait, people to it's, ask. It, that's not in our wheelhouse. Anyway, socks for you. Thank you. I fucking Men's love me socks. For me. Yeah, here you go. You can have the gift card then. Thank you. And I'll take these socks. Thanks, Guzman. Yum, yum. Thanks, Guzzy. Hey, we appreciate you. Um, Lulu had a big weekend. What did Lulu get up to? I went to a wedding. Shout out to Catherine and Tom. It was the most beautiful, stunning wedding in the entire world. Uh, can she I just say, hot couple alert. Hot. So hot. Hot couple ten alert. 10 out of 10. Yep. They both looked absolutely phenomenal. And yep. it was just beautiful. I love love. You love, I love love. love. But I literally had to write down bullet points. So I was in a, on a road trip with um, my two good mates, Longy and Kingy. They're and pretty then, quiet blokes. Real quiet, real tame kind of Pretty sleepy well. dudes, yeah. Very quiet and chill. Yeah. So it was, you know, it, was, it was pretty boring with them. It was almost like a yoga retreat with those yes, blokes. Yes, it was very similar. It's wholesome. It's very wholesome. Usually weddings can be real fucked up with those two blokes. It's almost like you come out feeling refreshed. Yeah, it was really wholesome. Yeah. And we had, we had Longy's girlfriend as well. Shout out Grace, love you. 
Um, longy by name and longy by nature, hopefully for the girlfriend's sake. Or what are we talking? So. You'd want to hope so. You'd hope so. But I literally had to write down like bullet points on the car ride up there. Yep. Kingy decides he's like, can we just play the silent game? Because he was like, I cannot get a, a moment of silence between you and Longy. Like, it was just... Oh, yeah, it'd be nightmarish with you two. Way. Yep, absolutely. Um, which, obviously, the silent game is, like, actually my worst nightmare. Like, I've tried to articulate before, you know, I could be kidnapped. And they could say, tell us where the family is, or you'll never get to speak again. And I'd tell them where the family was. Yes. So that I could speak. I reckon if you were kidnapped... As a child, and they called up Franco mm-hmm. and said, "Mate, we've got your daughter," and he'd be like, "I'll pay you cunts five grand to keep her for the weekend." Just have her. Just keep her just for the weekend, boys. We just need the pantry stocked, and yep. we need a bit of silence. I don't want her back for a bit. <laughs> just he just for the weekend, have her. I'll give you a five k. Yeah. And then I'll, I'll I'll pay you more ransom on Monday and take it for the week. Your kidnappers would become babysitters. Yeah. <laughs> I, there's not a chance a kidnapper would ever they'd throw me back. Yeah. I'd be so loud and annoying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, so we drove up. It was you know, you know, first night fever. About ooh, how you going? I love first night fever. Oh, first night fever. We're all like, nah, nah, nah. Like there was a house of maybe eighteen of us, and everyone was like, nah. We'll just keep it chill. We'll just but keep it very chill. One of the great lies in Australian culture. As soon as I had a sip of alcohol, I was like, we're on here, no, mate. Isn't it such a pisser that so you all collectively say that shit knowing you're all bullshitting each other, but you oh, accept it? I know. You're all going, yeah, I think, you know, we'll have dinner. Everyone's like, asleep by 11. Like 11. I think it was like, it would have been at least, let's call it a gentleman's 2, <laughs> 2.30. Yeah, yeah, it's a three then. Um, and we went to the local pub, the Bellbird Hotel. Yep. Shout out. Um, I'll just say that the locals hated us. Okay, sure. As you can imagine, because I'm standing there with four like of the biggest Raiders fans you've ever met, and they're like screaming at the TV, like running around being like, "Get the fuck up, the Raiders!" Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And the locals are actually staring. Like I thought someone was going to get punched at one point. Yeah, that, them's fighting sort of territory, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, and then we went back to the house and just we just got a bit silly. We all hopped in the spa. Who we, was in the spa? There was about. I'd say 13 of us, and let's call it a, a four-man spa. You know when it's like, it's so late and the chat is just getting so rogue. Like, I won't say what, but one of the boys kept doing this, like, real itch, would you rather? And everyone was like, okay, buddy, it's, what's going on? Up yeah, there? yeah. What's going on? Had he gone, do you think he gone into autopilot mode? And everyone's going, okay, mate, Jimbo, just, uh, that's enough. And it, all he can think about is, just would you rather? <laughs> Just keep yeah. going for it. Like <laughs> fuck. And then, oh uh, yeah, it was just it was it was one of those nights where we woke up and we were like, okay, that was potentially unnecessary, but no regrets. And also, no time to be hungover because we had to be at the wedding at eleven thirty in the morning. Yeah. So we're up. We go for breakfast. Shout out to the bedwetters who yelled out "bedwetters for life" and Cessnock. Shit, yeah. That was awesome. And Cessnock then, feels like it'd be a bedwetters uh, yeah. paradise. Real bedwetting you know territory. Know um, and then we basically got ready and got to the wedding, and it was just chaos. Like I was sitting next to Kingy, and he's like chugging a bottle of rosé in the speeches. And I'm like elbowing him like, mate. Yeah, you gotta. Slow down. You gotta, you gotta kind of, you gotta keep it a, a relatively fucking PG through the speeches. Like. Yeah. And then it was just. Any dark. heckle, any heckling? No, 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 no. Oh, Everyone was pretty, pretty mature in that sense. But no. then the dance floor came around. I was on um, someone's shoulders at one point. I was up on the stage. Uh, then Catherine and Tom obviously doing this stunning dance. It was just. And phenomenal. you got in the middle of that. <laughs> Suddenly it turned into Lulu's wedding. <laughs> Guys, could I do a dance? No. <laughs> You're just there. But the um the lead they, they had a band. It's their it's their friend um Don West music. Oh, a big hottest motherfucker of all time. What the sorry. Ho- what sorry, the yeah. hottest motherfucker. No, no, he's Hercules. No, no. It's fucked. It, it, the bloke defies the bloke. Now, listen. <laughs> sorry. That, I reckon that's I'm one bloke so that fair can turn me. This bloke defies what fucking humans should look like. Uh-huh. And he's got a, the voice of an angel. Yep. Can play instruments. Yep. Is so nice. More de- Honestly, he's got more definition than a fucking dictionary. So ripped. Uh, can you imagine me, Dutch, my entire camera roll? That's all done. It's full of him. It's all done. I'm in the corner like this. It, like literally like this, just filming him. I'm going to make him go viral on TikTok. There's this one part where he does the song and he's like swinging the mic around doing this like little jazzy dance and then he looks at my camera and he's like, huh, and like keeps, and I was like, 
You slipped over. Holy <laughs> shit. You're going viral, my friend. I thought you were going to say home with me. Uh, I mean, I could, I'd go home with him, for fuck's sake. He's just got... I was, like, telling him right at the wedding, I was like, he's like the next Elvis. Like, he just yeah, oozes, yeah, yeah. like, oozes sex appeal. Also, a, a very lovely bloke. So divine, so nice. Real good bloke. Um, yeah, go suss out Dom West fucking music. It's bloody good. Yeah. Now, um, now... What was I going to say? Fuck, I've been doing this a lot this morning. Split my dress. Oh, you split your dress. I'd I'd just be on the dance floor and then someone would just put their um, head through my legs and I'd just be up on (laughs) someone's shoulders. Fuck me. And then I'd just be like, at one point I was going, down. That sounds sounds like a good old-fashioned shindy. It was so fun. It was honestly, we just giggled the entire way. Like it was, I was pissing my pants the entire weekend. It was the best weekend of my life. And we had this like chair where we'd all tell stories and it was just... It was just a weird, funny weekend. What story did you tell? Um, that is a good question. I cannot remember. Too many so, tequilas at this point. So real, real big bastard. You feeling? You, you seem okay today. Yesterday a bit. Yesterday rough. was a little bit rough. I, I didn't set an alarm, and I woke up and was like, "Okay, this feels like not a good Monday." And yeah. then by by twelve, I was fine. Yeah. Had a lot of work to do. Did you, mate? What were you doing? Just had a lot of videos to film. Oh, shit, how many? Six. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Oh, you'd been legit. No, I'm being legit. I had a fuckload of ads to film. Yeah, that's tough. And that's not fun when you look like a walking corpse. A warps. I was a warps. Um, but yeah, yeah shout out Catherine and Tom. Best weird, weekend ever. Weird, man. I just like, had another weekend, man. Oh, like, you no just saw the ads. Man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Well, you know what's coming, not this weekend, but next weekend? Yes. 45,000 glasses of whiskey for yes. Jarchi. Got you excited Are you coming for to that. the farms? Lulu going to New Zealand. Oh, fuck, I forgot. Lulu's going to see Toby. Oh, wait. Toby's dead. That was like something out of uh, play school. You know, <laughs> I fucking forgot you were going. No, no, no. I knew you were going to New Zealand. Yeah. I forgot that that cut into the weekend. Devo. Yeah. A lot, a lot yeah. of the cunts that are coming are very excited to meet you I as know. well. Can but we yeah. do it? We'll do it again. Yeah, we'll do it again. Yeah. We'll be a million, million times to do it now that I'm bloody, you know, going to be a free grogs. man. Um, bloody, um, well, I was back at the farms this weekend, Lou. Yes. Which was just fucking delight. It, it is tough, though. Walker is a very cold place. Mm. Now, that drives a man to want to warm yourself up with a bit of whiskey. Mm. But I've, I've been refraining. Would you have a cup of tea? I'd have a fair few cups of Joe, yeah. And just bloody. Scones. No scones. Biscuits. Biscuits dipped in your few tea. Few biscuits, few slices. Mum made some mad batches of slice. Mm. We went to, uh, so I I initially, well, I was raised in a place called Yarrowitch until I was about three. Mm. Two or three. They cast spells there. <laughs> <laughs> that was Don't true. laugh. So, yeah, anyway, I was in Yarrowitch. I'm just a bit scared to tell the story now. No, it's okay. Sorry, you can all right. take it. Go it's on. very aggressive. Sorry, I'm so sorry. That was just hyper aggressive. But don't laugh. So sorry. It's fine. It's just very aggressive. <coughs> Carry on with your Yarrowitch story. <laughs> so, <laughs> Yarrowitch is about, it's, a, it's, it's not even a village. It's a, just basically <laughs> a collection of rural properties. It's yeah. got a, a school, which is a hut, and a hall. That's it. So we used to, I grew up there sort of, uh, you know, as a very a real youngster. It's about 45 minutes out of Walker. It's real scrub territory. Like I was with Bur- Burjo. We went to see Fanny Lums- Lumsden. Oh, I did see this on your Instagram. She's a tremendous um, uh, sort of country folk singer and had a few openers for her. This bird from Armada, this young girl from Armada, must have been 16 or something. Fucking phenomenal voice. I love that. Dude, it was off its head. How good. She was hi- seemed hyper nervous, you know what I mean? But her voice you was... You would be. She sang Valerie from bloody, oh. um, what's her name? Winehouse. Valerie. Fucking a Beyonce song. Ooh. And Tennessee Whiskey by Chris Stapleton. All three very hard songs, she crushed it. Then there was a bird that before Fanny, Max... Uh, what are you smiling? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. You're good? Uh-huh. Yeah, so the bird before Fanny was... Maxi Jackson. She's one. Maxi Jax. Maxi Jax. She was a phenomenal performer and beautiful voice as well. And then Fanny 
the main singer. She started. You're okay. Yeah, you're I'm fine. fine. Yeah, you're okay. Good. Fanny Lumsden started. And she, she just. <laughs> no, I'm actually fine. You're just making me giggle. Yeah, I know. I get it. Okay, yeah, she's fine. Now she's a tremendous performer and singer. Some beautiful. I think you like her music. Um, so, so that she's was country. A, she's country. You know, folky country. Yeah, okay. She's real, really, really fucking good. She. Uh, so that was at the Yarrowitch um, Hall. So she does a country halls tour where she plays all these old halls mm-hmm. all through the all around Australia. Does like two hundred plus halls, and it's just wow. a mad. It, it actually feels like good vibe, a real good vibe, and like what entertainment would have been like back in like the eighteen fucking eighties. Oh. Okay, it's just like a simple country hall. Yes, just with everyone the band. from the community comes around. You have fuck man, the fucking CWA Country Women's Association, bloody. Whipping up scones and treats and slices. I would have loved that. Co- and I had fucking coffees and slices and lasagna and quiches and fucking all this sort of shit. Then you just watch this mad music and you get around everyone's fucking boot scooting and bloody. That ooh. sounds like a bit of me. I yeah, would, you would have loved I, I would like to come next time, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do something. It was fucking fun. And then, mate, yeah, I was just back home chilling. So I had a very, very yeah. fresh weekend. It's just because I'm not drinking, Lulu. Sounds um, just like how we waited outside KFC at 10 a.m. and dined in. On Sunday. Did you? We dined in Cessna. You got fancy. We got fancy. We dined in. How was the dining experience? Oh, phenomenal. God, What'd I you love get KFC. KFC. I got the um, three-piece tenders box, popcorn chicken, um, chips, potato and gravy, uh, and a Pepsi. Pretty powerful stuff. And then and then long you got this delicious coleslaw chicken zinger crunch burger with like chippies in it as yeah. well. It was fucked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then we got some squirms and we got some power aids and things for the car and snakes and we're just having a giggle on the no, way you home. Weren't. Then we were yeah, pl- we played some country. We played some Morgan Wallen. Okay. We played some gangster. Yep. Yeah, it was just a lovely time. I'm glad you had fun. I did. Yesterday well, Monday, Tuesday. Yeah. Oh, what are we today? Tuesday. Sunday, Monday was a bit rough. Yeah, a bit tough. I slept like a baby on Sunday night. Did you? I slept from 8.45 till 7.30. Fuck, that's a good, that's a good a, kip. It was two, th- th- let's call it 3 a.m. is. Yeah, and you're not getting any younger. No. I, I'm definitely getting older. I'll oh, be 30 soon. Think about it like this. As soon as, as soon as a baby's born, it starts dying. I think that's a really nice way to look at the world. Like a nice positive sort of way to look at things. As soon as you're born, you begin to die and perish. Inevitably, you die. No. So. It does remind me of how as soon as you drive a car out of the um, car sales yard, it <laughs> diminishes in price. Is that, what, is that what it reminds you of? Well, it does. I know. You buy a brand new BMW X5 for $90,000. You drive that straight out in 30 seconds, that's 55000 What about a... Uh, a Porsche Cayenne, yep. not 2019. Yep. Let's call that a gentleman's 120,000. Let's call it that. You drive that out, that's 103,000 now, my friend. Holy shit. You drive a Ford Fiesta 2013 out called Gianni, doesn't diminish. Same price. It appreciates. Doof, doof, doof. Your appreciation for a Gianni appreciates. Mm. What happens to Rolexes? They go up. Oh, true. Just Are you going to rob me? I've been very close a few times. I, I, I thought... Because I just we live close to each other. I've got a bally. I'm like just chuck on a little bally and just walk along and be like and just talk like um. Or oh, just give, give me your Rolex now. Give it here. Disguise my voice. Oh, you, you want the Rolex? Because you never think it was me. You I think go, it was a high pitched Irish. Is that you, Josh? I've known those Crocs for a while. No, what Crocs? They're camouflage. I don't know what you're talking about. Give me the fucking. Or you Rolex. could be smarter and just come into my house for a cup of tea. And like. Pick a day where I'm not wearing it and just go to my jewelry box. Smart. This is I'm I'm a bit nervous now. The can I pop over for a cup of Joe tomorrow? Mm-mm. You're Please. never allowed back over. Please. Please. Uh. Uh-uh. No, sir. <laughs> no, senorita, you cannot. <laughs> That's not a bad accent. What is this American? Do it. Do it. I've got a character for you. You're an American. That owns a Rolex and your mate comes over, but you know he's trying to steal it. Sorry, say it again. You're oh, an you American lady yeah. who owns a flash Rolex and you, you've invited your mate over for a cup of tea, but you suspect he's trying to steal your Rolex. Brandon, stop going into my bedroom. I know what you're doing. You've been eyeing up my Rolly for the last three years I've known you. <laughs> 
Brendan. <laughs> I think I was thinking of Step Brothers. For some reason, I thought uh, you were going to ask me to do an impersonation of Don West. Like that's how much I'm thinking about his music. Jesus Christ! He did. Please the, do. Sorry, he did the song, and it was like you look so good naked. Oh! And everyone was just like, "Okay, Dom, Don, Don." I think it's Don West. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. Anyway, enough about him because it's getting slightly creepy now. It is. Can <laughs> I also pull you and Dior up? Oh. From last week. Oh. Is this an intervention? Yep. I got berated. I got screamed at by the both of you. Screamed. Poor you made me feel about this big. Oh, mate, that's you to me every weekend. Yeah, and I, every didn't, week. like, and I didn't like it, so I'm going to... To keep doing it to you, but you can't do it to me. Okay, you know? bud. <laughs> okay. You guys made me feel about this big, right? You guys berate, you yelled at me, you screamed, you said, you fucking idiot. You're just a simple bogan from the country and your parents are probably cousins. You were screaming at me. Because Lou said, I'm positive Aww. that I can do it. And I said, you just say positive? You said, no, I said positive. And then Dior jumped in and said, she said positive, you fucking asshole. I went, whoa, Dior. Usually lovely. You're just screaming at me. You said, I said positive. I said positive. Bedwetters have spoken. You said politive. But I don't even know what politive means. You misspoke, kid. Simple as that. Are you surprised? No. But, I can't but, even but string a sentence together. The attack that I suffered at the hands of you two animals. Have you seen how much you attack me every podcast? You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean, Chan? Okay, buddy. Yeah. Okay, bud. Yeah, so Fair I, dinkum, you attack me. Oh, yeah, that's not in your wheelhouse. It's not in my wheelhouse, but it is in your wheelhouse. <laughs> Sorry. I'm politic. What? what? Where are you going? Oh, you want Kevin? Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. She got Kevin. I only bought Kevin because we're recording a rap battle after the show. No, I think that's an excuse. I think you bought Kevin because you it's like an well, emotional Well, I saw him sitting on the animal. bed and I thought, oh, it's been a while. It's been a while since Kevy's had an excursion. Oh, fucking hell. Why would you need him when you've got a full big Kevin? You can become Kevin. A You're lot. inside Kevin, which you've always <laughs> wanted to be. <laughs> people, at, like, genuinely think I'm insane. Like, the comments on the TikTok, people are like, you just don't know what's going to come out of Lou's no. mouth. Like, there's something not right up there. But I feel Am like... Am I actually, like, not all good? Yeah, you're fucked in the head. But what oh. I like about it is <laughs> that <laughs> that right. that when we do posts, like, on social media and stuff, mostly on TikTok, and shit goes viral on TikTok quite a... Not mm. easily, but easier than Instagram. And when there are random... When there are random people, like the Beratus, or mostly you... Mm. The bedwetters come to the defence. Oh, so they roast them. You are a fuckwit, but you're our fuckwit. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, people will go, wrong place, mate. Like, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, who the fuck are you talking to? Bedwetters just start coming and start drilling them. They're like, oh, that chick, I hate her accent. They're like, well, why don't you fuck off, cunt? Stop listening. The bedwetters are literally our, like, big brothers. Yeah. And sisters. Yeah, just piss-stained brothers and sisters. Unite. My favourite comment, which I thought was so nice, is someone was like, Lou, Lou is so precious. Protect her at all costs. Isn't That's, that nice? That is nice. Mm. It's, no, it's factually inaccurate, but it's nice. It's a nice sentiment. Now, mm. don't. Should we do a red light, green light? Yes. You want to do that? Yes. Okay. You want to do that, Kevin? Red light, green light. Ah. That was a good one. Thank you. I liked that. Okay, Lulu, start because you always start. Oh, okay. Sorry, that was mean, but... It's fine, it's just, it was just like a full attack. Um, I'm used to it. I'm used to it from you two. Hang on, I had a good one. <laughs> okay, red light, green light. Farting in the car if you put your window down on a road trip with family and friends. <sighs> Do you make it known? Do you be like, oh, yeah. he can't. Green. Red. Holding your fart. Yeah, what if it's I, a stinky, like, well, You fart? know what? Depends on the friend group and depends on the situation. Okay. Let's do another one. Red yep. light, green light. Farting on a road trip and winding the windows up. And locking everyone in. 
that's so itch, but I feel like my brothers used to do that to me when yeah, I was it's younger. Yeah, it's more, it's, it's kind of green just because I'm not a big farter. It's red. I, oh, yeah, I forgot you don't really have gas. But, but I would, but... but <laughs> It's probably something you'd want to forget again, I suppose. <laughs> Just not something you want to always remember. Um, bloody, I've got a mate. How's Josh as a co-host? He's all good. He doesn't have gas. <laughs> yeah, just every time you meet someone. My mate Stubby, big stinky fucker. Mm. Um, he's stunk out his car once with a sneeze. Ooh. Not even joking. What was in his nose? Fuck nose. Mm. <laughs> nah, everyone would have been going. <laughs> but he he literally stunk out a car. He sneezed and stunk a car out. That's so fucked. He needs to go to the nosologist. Yeah, it was just like, have you ever heard, have you ever <laughs> had someone's sneeze stink? Nah. So imagine what his farts do. Do you know what? Fucking actually disgusting. Really gross when someone's got bad breath and you're stuck in a car with them. Oh, dude. It's well, it goes back to her close talkers last week. Yeah. I've, I've been in a car with someone with all the windows up because it's cold and I'm like, the the taste just tastes, um, the smell just smells uh, like stale. In, in a cold car with hot breath? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> dude. You know I've got a fear that my breath stinks. Same. D- yours Would doesn't. you tell me? Yes. I'm, I'm like, I carry mints, gum, everything. Does mine? Yeah. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Wrecked. <laughs> it was... That just wigs me But out. I just carry mints in case I'm getting like a pash on the middle of the train. From the oh, I'm kidding. Rest. In the middle of the train. <laughs> yeah, correct. Um, mate, I'm sort of green and red at the same time. It would depend on the company mm. that I keep. It would, it would change. So if I'm in a Sorry, car with you and all lunch. your girlfriends, we're driving somewhere, I'm not playing that game. Oh, if you just were like, guys... Oh. All my friends would be like, um, who mate, fuck? who are you? Correct. But if I'm with old Stinky Sneeze and the rest of the, bo- the boys, yeah. then yeah. So is this a clause on which friend group or family or It's friends? an orange. Yeah, okay. We'll agree on an Oz. It's a rare Oz. Rare Oz. Bing. 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 Oh, sorry. Bing. 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 Oh, one more. Bing. Oh. <laughs> You're well, meaning to. There we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Red light, green light. Apple watches. Mate, you're addicted to it. It's embarrassing. I'm so green, but I'm also so red. So, yeah, I'm like, I'm like red just because it's you. I know. You keep being like, oh, look at this, look at this script. To I'm be like, fair, I had one about three years ago, and I'd be like, oh, time that while I walk right, from I here do. to the supermarket, which is 300 meters away. Oh, look at my new screensaver. Boop, dude, can go for a run with my Spotify in my ears. Boop. This is why I'm green and red because mm. I love it. Yours but I know how much of a mama. fuck with. Is yours is like the new big face or yeah, something? Yeah, it's a big, big fucker. Can I try it on? Yeah, you can. But, but, but I just, because now everything I do, Can't put I go around like, oh, double. I'm walking to the shops. Yeah, oh, I'll do an outdoor walk. That's a bit embarrassing. Because I want to close my rings. It's, it's giving a bit, um, you get a bit, um, I think the reason I stopped wearing mine, compete. I think I got a bit obsessed with it. That's like, what I'd be I'm like, doing. I'd be like, oh, I'm nearly at like, 12,000 steps, but I'm only at 11.9. I better walk up and down the lounge. It's a bit weird. Dude, the other day it went, me and Fef went for a walk on Apsley Falls outside of Walker, and we'd done a walk and I forgot to put it on. Number one, I was like, fucking dumb cunt. How did you not fucking do your outside yeah. walk? And then, so I put it on like fucking over halfway into the, into the walk, right? Then I get back and <laughs> and I get back and it was like, 2.9 kilometres. And I'm like, fuck, I've got 100 metres to go. So I just started running around the car park. I know. <laughs> I, I was the same. <laughs> like, It's very odd. What happened to my rings there? What did you fucking do? I just touched it. I oh, know, rings are all good. But I'm green and red. I love it so much, but I realise how much of a fucking cocksucker it mm. makes me. Okay, I'm going I'm going red just because it's you. Hurtful. Um, red light, green light. Regularly posting on LinkedIn. For me, that's a red. It's a red for me as well. But I also have, we've discussed this before, I have a lot of fun with people's LinkedIn. Yeah. So and I also, need I'm aware it. it's the new DMs. No, 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 this is, no, that's not true. You can, it's like Strava, you could like kudos someone's promotion. Yeah, you can, but you know. Franco posts on it a lot because he has no he? other social media. Oh, you're getting on now. I've got to get him on LinkedIn. Yeah, you do. Because this is my bread and butter. Yeah. Because LinkedIn is such a serious 
let's call it a social media yeah. platform. There's nothing better than just. I, actually, you know what? I might have to change that and maybe go orange because it's like when we post our stuff on Instagram, that's our job and that's our platform. Correct. Whereas like someone will post being like, I've just created a new astronaut for NASA and that's their <laughs> that's their place yeah, to that's, post it. You that's know? what they're doing, yeah. They're not going to post it on their social media going, everyone, check out my new astronaut for, for Elon Musk. You know what you've done, don't you, buddy? What? Just sounded real dumb. That, didn't you? Why? You've created an astronaut. Oh, sorry. Do you I think mean, astronauts are people. I mean, I mean, spaceship, spacecraft, <laughs> ast- uh, what's it called? Rocket. <laughs> Fuck. Whatever. <laughs> Holy shit! Mm. You know why we? I know we're doomed as a society because of um, artificial intelligence. It's people like you. I'm going to tell you something. What? And this is. I know this will be made into a video. For a while, when I was seeing, oh, no. for a while when I was seeing all over social media being like, AI, you know, reveals that it could take over the world in three years, I thought it was Al. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, who the fuck's Al? <laughs> who the hell is Al that he's taking over the entire world in three years? What? <laughs> the fuck? But then I came to Dude, and realised oh it was AI. Oh, my God. Easy mistake. Al. It looks like Al. I get Who the hell's Alistair? What's Al doing that he's taking re- over the world? Oh, dude, my fucking... I've laughed so hard. Like, there's little lights. <laughs> I love that. Do, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold the fuck on there. Should I have not revealed this? This is a bad one. Now, did you, did you look... Did you Google search Al? Who's Al? No, I just... Oh. oh, no, I think I just clicked on one of the links and was like, oh, AI. Artificial in- um, intelligence. I was gonna say Easy mistake, though. It looks like Al. <sighs> it does. It's Alistair. Uh, I can give you that. But, I mean, come on, bud. Let's get it together. Yeah. Must have been a Monday morning. It da- <laughs> Al. <laughs> Oh, Al, stop doing that robot thing you do. Fuck, that is funny, dude. Uh, Al. Hey, Elon Musk, who's Al? <laughs> you, are, you are the downfall of civilization oh. as we know it. Okay. Okay, red light, green light. People that say chow as goodbye. Red. Um, I say it every podcast. Yeah. People who say "huru," that's Australian. I'm every Austra- podcast, I'm Australian. that's an Australian term. I'm Italian. You're fucking from New Zealand. I'm Italian. Franco, speak it. Franco, speak Armadio Italian. Del speak, Del speak Italian. Ciao, Bella. No, no, to, to, to no, say a full I sentence. I don't know it. Oh, well. you don't speak Italian. Sorry, so I'm not allowed you... to say ciao, ciao. Au revoir. Sorry, I grew up with my nonno and nonna stomping grapes and eating bloody salami. I I used to stomp on ants and eat Vegemite. So huru. So you can say huru, and I can say ciao, ciao. That's awful. You might have more of a case because of your heritage. Why can you not say ciao? You can. It's like it's saying. It's not for me. It's like saying. Au revoir. Yeah. Or, Arrivederci. Yeah. Yeah, you're doing that. Sayonara. You're doing that. Yeah, you're doing that. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Sometimes. You say sayonara. Yeah. When? Often. W- well, tell me if. I'll you- say it to friends. Sayonara. <laughs> We actually probably do say sayonara, senorita, yeah. merging two cultures. Nah. It's a big green. Ciao. Ciao, ciao. Au revoir. Take that up with Franco and you won't because you, you appreciate Franco. I really do. And you the had the sandwich. The more I learn about Franco, the more I talk to him, the more I start involving myself in his habits, the more I really like him. Tell everyone you liked the sandwich. The sandwich slaps the sandwich was so fucking good i you'll be doing it again 100 percent, dude i've got all of this sh- i've got all of the ingredients and uh, honestly i was like i was making it and i'm going this guy's a fucking serial killer <laughs> i'm like how the fuck can this be good and i didn't neg it on any of the ingredients i'm like make it how because he because i listened to him he's like you need a lot of cream cheese 
And no, not just dates in the corner. You need dates everywhere. Dates all over it. So I put dates all through it. Cream cheese, peanut butter. Didn't c- couldn't get mung beans. Yeah. I, I so I just had like little lentil fucking mm. things. Try it with the mungies, I reckon. The mungies, and then you'll be on. But Franco's onto it. Franco's Franco slaps. Yeah, Franco knows his chow. So See do what I. I've done there. That's a that's a uh, another word for food. Yes, so that's what I did there. Aware of that, right? Um, red light, green light. No headphones at the gym. I had to do it yesterday and it was tough. <sighs> Even it if I'm sucked. doing a hot girl lap, I'm like, cool. Even more head noise on my own. Yeah, that, the, the brain's ticking too. And much. my brain goes 4,000 million miles an hour. Yeah, well, it doesn't. But well, it, it does. Well, it's for, It does. Yeah, a million miles an hour of shit. Still like, fast you, shit. You walk around. <laughs> Very fast shit. You walk around, <laughs> you walk around thinking like, is this Al guy? Like, is he Australian? Is this Al guy? Is it Al Gore? Is the climate guy? <laughs> Instantly regret telling you guys that. <laughs> but I just remember seeing it and was like, the bedwetters will love this. Oh, that one. is a good one for the bedwetters. Mm. Mate, no headphones around that. So it's tough. Yeah. Because you also, when you've got headphones in, there's a level of like, he's in the zone. Do you almost feel like you can be semi ruder when you've got your headphones in? Yes. Yeah, you yes. can. Well, not ru- ruder, but you people are probably less likely to fuck fuck around with you if you got headphones in. Yeah, I feel like there's just this sort of way that you just sort of everything's faster when you you know at the supermarket you're a bit more like fuck yeah. But even like I see mates at the gym, right? Mates of mine, headphones are in, they're doing something. If they give me that, I know it's their time. It's their mm. time to. That's Did what I? they're doing. It's not a time for judging yeah. and to chat. I hate that moment when you see someone and you're like, "Fuck, is this a we're stopping and chatting, or is this just a hey, how are you?" Yeah. Also, the awkward sometimes the kiss shake. Thing. Yeah, and also when they go, you go, "Hey," and they go, "Hey, how are you?" and you go, "No." Yeah, you got it. They go, "Hey." You got it. How are you? And they just go, "Hey," or vice versa. Are you thinking of like the well thanks? Yeah, that. What have you been up to? Well, thanks. How yeah. are you? Not much. Yeah. That's, I feel like that sometimes is a derivative of like social anxiety. You're overthinking the the um, situation too much. Mm. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Fair dinks. Fair dinks. Hooroo, mate. Oh, fuck it. Ciao. <laughs> ciao, ciao. Um, I don't know if I've done this one before, but I, I felt it pertinent to fucking raise it. Okay, I really need to pee. Well, this goes hand in hand, kind of. Cool. Not really, but yeah. Not drinking your drink with your meal. So My mate, Harry Joffick, gets his full meal like a lunch. Full lunch. He gets a Diet Coke with every lunch he has. Sits there with his lunch, eats the lunch, and then cracks his drink and drinks uh-uh. the fucking... I'm like, dude, drink your fucking drink. Sip, bite, sip, 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 bite, sip, bite, sip, bite. Sip, bite, sip, bite, sip, bite, sip, bite. He eats his whole sip, meal. Sip, sip, bite, bite. Sip, sip, bite. Bite, 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 <laughs> That's really weird. Isn't it fucked? Because you know, like sometimes your mouth is dry, you're eating food, and then you just have a sip of your drink. Yeah, and what, what's he doing if he's having like a beer? What? Does he wait till the end to finish his meal to f- sip his beer? Yeah. What's doing? It's fucked, isn't it? It's real fucked. Like, it's weird. It, it, but to the point where when we, we'd have lunch together, it would annoy me. And I'd be like, open your fucking drink, dude. Drink it. it w- that would annoy me too. It's sh- That's shit a shit full, 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 full red. Full red, eh? Yeah. Do you want to do a wee? I'll, I'll hold on. Um, hold on. Red light, green light. Surprise birthdays. Red. Green. This is like... This is like laying the foundations for a November surprise birthday. It stinks of that. This I is would a- never, ever do such a thing. <laughs> but like, <laughs> it would be kind of cool to like walk into a room of like 50 friends and like, you I don't know. 50 friends first. Wrecked. Um, or now. just be me, Kevin. And the, the big, giant, the giant Kevin. <laughs> yeah. Maybe Jill and Franco. Yeah. You might come. Yeah. Maybe. So maybe eight I of do us. have 
sock wash, a lot of sock washing to do in November. Okay. But we'll figure it out. Yeah. Dude, surprise, like, I'm just not a big birthday guy myself. Mm. So you'd hate it. I've had one. Uh, you had someone throw one for you. And I just, oh. but no, for my 30th. It was a surprise. Uh, I'd been saying, listen, I don't want to do anything. Don't make me do anything for my birthday. I just don't want to do anything. Mm. But 30's a big one. Yeah, but I don't care. Same. You know what I mean? Oh, you do. <laughs> Um, <sighs> yeah, well, I'll throw you a surprise birthday party. No, I won't. I won't do oh, yeah, it. yeah, don't. I'm not gonna. Don't do it, no, Judge. No, seriously, I won't do it. But in all likelihood, I won't. <laughs> do you what? He won't eat. <laughs> I won't. Okay. <sighs> Maybe I'll won't. give you Jill and Franco's number just in case. Got Jill's. And Franco's. <laughs> okay, now can I pee? Yeah, you can. You stay here, Kev. Oh, fuck me. Don't. Don't stomp. Hit don't. Lulu, stomp. Lulu. Agree. Lulu. Lulu. Tired. Lulu can't wait to see Jill and Franco. Janko. But also, Toby's dead. Yeah, Toby is dead. Oh. Sorry, Lulu. All right. <clears throat> Favourite part of the show. Bed with a hotline. You ready, sister, from another mister? Yes. All right, let's do it. Let's see what we got from the bedwetters this week. Let's go. I love Lulu singing. Mm. If she stops singing, I stop listening. It's amazing. I absolutely love it. Well, you'd want to stop listening. Gah! I love that you go to that one because you genuinely think that's what you're good at singing. Well, give me a country one. I reckon I could do that. Well, were you listening? Do you know any Morgan? Do you know? What about Chicken Fry? Do you know Wagon Wheel? Rock me, mama, like a wagon wheel. Rock me, mama, any way you feel. <laughs> hey, <laughs> mama, rock me. How's the guy who keeps trolling us on the <laughs> we meme our TikTok going? Um, he just goes, he just goes, siblings or two blokes, two blokes with fucked husky voices. Siblings or two blokes who just smoked a durry. <laughs> Is it Lamont or something like yeah, that? Yeah, it's so fucked. Funny cunt. <laughs> yeah, that makes me laugh. All right, next one. G'day, cunt and cheek with the dick. Um, <laughs> got two theories for ya. One on the, um, people who talk real close to your face thing. They go in the same category of people who walk you off a footpath when you're um, just, yeah, walking down the street with them, going to get a coffee or something. So I reckon these people, right? Yes. They grew up in families where their parents kiss them on the lips and fucking walk around the house butt naked. Just a way too close, don't understand personal space sort of thing. Also, second theory, judge. He thinks he's the shittest, hottest, and shiniest cunt on the planet. <laughs> That's it. That's the theory. Cheers, guys. Love the body. Love, this, love the second theory. I thought you'd like that. I like that. I, I agree with the people walking. It's a good theory. I love my housemate to death, but whenever we go for walks, she'll just, like, veer closer towards me. I'm like, like mate, you, just get in your lane. Walk straight. It dumbfounds me. Yeah, it's bizarre. It, it's like people who can't reverse park. How? Yeah. How can you not do that? Oh. Just reverse park. Yeah. How? Oh. Oh. Yeah. How can you not do that? Well. <laughs> yeah, you, you, how do you go at reverse? To be fair, I've like nailed you. Oh, now. Hold on. Well, we know like, that. As, as in like, I can see his size and peripheral vision that I can kind of just like, I'm a lot better at parallel parking. I'm kind of just weasel my way in. I've now. seen you're not bad, Lou. Thanks. I've seen you do. I've seen you in some pretty tight spots. Thanks so much. In terms of the second theory, yeah, you did fucking right, mate. <laughs> no, so I'm a dumb. fucking dipshit, and we all know it. Yeah, true. Third one. Hey, Jarji, mate. I just heard you're a uh, little uh, motorcycle fucking yarn. I reckon you're fucking full of shit, mate. Was, you know why? Because if you were fucking struggling to take that fucking helmet off, you couldn't possibly be fucking struggling. Because most people are struggling to take their helmet off 
because they get stuck on their chin, mate. <laughs> you don't fucking have one. So it's either your lion or your fucking lion. And Lou? So your lion or your lion. You're pretty hot, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think there's a few bamboo scanners for the big fella with that laugh. A few bloody... You're right, mate. You get it. A few what? I think he's been on the yarny. <laughs> What's a bamboo schooner? A bong. Like, have you oh. seen? Have you like um? Have you seen like? Because you know he goes and Lou, I think you're pretty hot. <laughs> like he was high. Not that he does. You are hot. I'm not saying that because he's, he's saying, high. You yeah, think he's okay. hot. It was just you a laugh yeah, that right. made me you think, think he was you think on drugs. You think I'm ugly? No. <laughs> Righto. So ever since I started listening to the potty. I'm into this habit when I'm shopping of looking at every item, looking at the price and going, fuck, I don't miss ya. <laughs> so fucking good on ya. Oh, you know what I mean? Fair dink. <laughs> Fair fucking dink, mate. I don't miss ya. <laughs> I like that one. Bedwetters, how are we? It's a Saturday night. I am fucked. And I'm at the point where I'm lying in bed and willing to just piss my bed. <laughs> anyway, thought I'd leave that with you. Nice. Have a lovely night, girl. <laughs> love the podcast. I love the drunk bed ones. With Same. You. They're just like, I'm going to call the hotline. It's fucking 2 a.m. They're blind. You're like, it's time. I'm just going to piss the bed. Do you know, I um when I was at the wedding, it was... um. <laughs> Uh, the room was a double bed and a single, so it was two of the boys in the double and me in the single. And I like literally woke up at one point and was like, "Whoa, fuck!" Like, no, so close to pissing no. my pants. Imagine if I had in a house of like fifteen boys and three chicks. That would have been awesome. Pissed the pa- pissed my bed. That would have been. No, it would not have been awesome. Judge. Just a bit. Just so you to were be like, like to everyone. Um, anyone got like some type of spray? <laughs> no, you just leave it. Just turn on. Just the, turn on the ultra blanket. Live sneeze. Get it. <coughs> oh. You know, hey, red light, green light. This fucks me to within, within an inch of my life. What? When you're clearly trying to sneeze or you're about to sneeze and someone goes, you're about to sneeze. Are you sneezing? And you go, I was. Let me sneeze. I fucking was, mate. And now I'm sitting there going, yeah. Oh, fuck. Dude, it happened to me the other day. I wanted to punch him in the fucking mouth. The worst feeling is when you, you're like, I'm going to see, I'm going to see, and it doesn't come. Uh, th- that's what I mean. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, why yeah. I went to you. I went, oh, I'm leaving her alone because mm. I hate that Leave feeling. Leave me be. I love the feeling of being like, it's coming, it's coming. <laughs> it sounded. We, we were talking sneeze, just for the bad way. We were talking sneezes. Slightly edge. We were talking sneezes. Slightly edge. It's coming, it's coming. Uh, okay, one more. Hey gang, it's just Maddie here. Um, hey Maddie. So my boyfriend has a farm theory, which I just like to fact check with Judge. Um, I'm not sure how he's come Hello. up with this, but he reckons that it would be incredibly difficult for cows <laughs> to mate and reproduce because of their size and uh, lack of mobility. Uh, would love your thoughts on this, Judge, and um, yeah. I'm sure Lulu's opinion. On the topic would be entertaining as well. I think we get Lou to take this one, take over. You can root at any size. Yeah, Lou, tell the people. You can root at any size. A cow could, a big bull could ride. Well, they have, they have to. Exactly. That theory is incredibly wrong. Nice, Lou. Lou's correct here. A couple of things. Now, if we're talking cows, if you want cows to root, yeah, that'd be tough to reproduce because cows are. Um, they're female. They've they're got fe- yeah. mornays, You know what I mean? Yeah. So you've got to go bull. And they cow. are with calf already. A cow. You got to go heifer. Bull. So so bull. But trust me, mate. Bulls can get the job done. Hence why there's so much fucking so many cattle in the world. And it's not like they're there rooting for fucking twenty minutes, mate, to get the job done. Bulls are jump in, jump out, jump in, jump out, jump in, jump out. It's a quick process. Very much like. Big not J me. money. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely Don't not me. laugh. So, yeah, it's pretty easy to, for them to do. All right. Well, that's us. Thanks, guys. Hey, we love you, you bedwet mongrels. We love you so much. Uh, hey, I'd say 
one word of advice from Lou and I would be to keep, keep pissing. pissing. I keep pissing. I think and it is. and and who ro? A chow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you think? Come on, tell them where to find us. Oh, yes, sorry. Um, find us on at we meanwhile on TikTok and Instagram, at Jarchi89 on Instagram and TikTok, at Louisa Dalden on Instagram and TikTok, and LouisaDalden.com. Yeah, the new website coming, coming soon. Oh, hang on, one more sneeze. Nah. See, I left you alone. Oh. Nah, we're done. See, I left you alone. Oh. oh. Nah. Yep, see. Ciao.